Well, this is my how-to on how to put on rim stripes or wheel stripes. Um, I've already got the back done on this tire. You can see it turned out pretty good. Um, I've got these reflective stripes off of eBay from uh, the rimstripe.com, I think is what their uh, seller name is. And I like them because they match the bike. And since I took my reflectors off with the fender eliminator, it helps uh, help me be visible at night. But uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a how-to. Sorry for the poor video quality. Um, and the poor lighting. But basically, all you got to do is use uh, foaming glass cleaner. You can pick it up at uh, any grocery store, pretty much. And after you clean the wheels really good with uh, a little bit of rubbing alcohol and... Uh, to get all the grease and everything else off them. Then you just uh, spray the glass cleaner. These are quarter wheel strips, so we'll do a quarter of the wheel at a time. So I'll just go ahead and coat a quarter of the wheel at a time. And then you apply your stripe to where the foam is at. And you use a squeegee of some sort. I've got this little rubber doodad and you squeeze out all the excess water do it with your finger first and then you squeeze out the excess uh, cleaner with the squeegee and uh, being what gives you time to position your wheel stripe exactly where you want it sorry I'm trying to hold my iPhone with one hand and do this with another so just bear with me Place it on. I start in the middle and then work to the outward part on the first one. Okay, you see, I've kind of got it on there. And I rub it around. And you always want to go to where the overlap on these, because there is going to be a little bit of overlap, uh, is going the direction of the wheel. So the next stripe you're going to want to place is going to start. On this part here and go back so I'll have to roll the bike forward um, and then when you get to the, the last part this should still be wet enough you can lift up the, the edge and put the last one up underneath and then seal it over and that'll keep it from you know the wind from trying to peel it back um, you want these dry probably overnight just so uh, all the all the excess cleaner gets uh, gets out of there I mean, you can get it most of it with the squeegee, but you're going to want to let it evaporate overnight. And uh, that's basically it.